I would prefer you do that elsewhere. Please! I have enough guests leaving their mark on my ancient trunk. I'll go wherever I please. Mr. Jerry Lawson, you troubled soul. Wait, this tree is talking to me and this tree knows my name? It's nice to meet you, Jerry. What brings you here? It's a long story. Well, luckily for you, I have about 2,000 more years to live. So I have all the time in the world to listen to your story. I was once the owner of a popular restaurant, happily married to a beautiful and kind woman, comfortable in all things in life. My restaurant was a steakhouse, and it became the hippest joint in town. My wife, my beautiful Jennifer, worked at my side in the restaurant every day without any complaints. The business was growing leaps and bounds with every passing day. The patrons really enjoyed Jennifer's cooking. That's what brought everyone to the restaurant. We were very happy, everything was perfect. But one day, my life was turned upside down. My wife got sick, very, very sick. I searched for the best doctors, but nobody could help her. She passed away, slowly, painfully, and holding my hand, it crushed me. My soul was broken, it changed me. I started losing my clients, and soon enough, my restaurant was gone too. I was spending most of the time at the bar, drinking endlessly, in hopes my memory of her would fade. Oh, I'm sorry you feel that way, Jerry, but you are mistaken. What do you mean? Well, I need you to do something for me. I want you to go down this path right here. You won't know what you're looking for, but you will know when you find it. And when you do, bring it to me and I will enlighten you. to me why this is the very thing I've been trying to avoid <laughs> why are you torturing me <laughs> my child you are clearly not ready to understand understand what would you please do another favor for me when you were passing the river did you notice anything well no no, I, uh, no, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Well, it might do you some good to go check.
after all this time, it still works. I gave this to her on our, on our 10th anniversary. She was so enamored with this silly little thing. I remember how much she would cherish this music box. This meant a lot to her. Her smile. The way she would look at me, I, I knew how much she loved me, but... But what? She was my world. And I failed to realize how happy she was. Have you even noticed the envelope in your pocket? You've been so consumed in your grief, Jerry, that you didn't notice what she was feeling. Jerry, my love, please don't beat yourself up when I'm gone. You have so much love to give. When patrons came into the restaurant, it was because of you. Not my cooking, not the ambiance, but because of how happy you were every day. Be strong for us and take care of yourself. Continue living and maybe one day you'll love again someone who can be as happy as I was. I love you in this life and the next. Love, Jennifer. Jerry, at the moment before her last breath, there was a tear she shed. Her last tear was the tear of happiness, not sadness or fear. We cannot let our suffering shadow the love we all sow.